Hey guys. <clears throat> I always wait and clear my throat once I push go. I should do that first. <laughs> Hello. My hair is snarly. Just waiting a minute for people to get on. Hello, hello. Both done. Okay, well, I'll get started. So, I just got out of the shower, so my hair is long and snarly and snaggly. I didn't do anything to it yet, so bear with me. Um, So, I left my face kind of sad looking. My yucky little red spots everywhere because I want to show you what I can do with Senegents. So, um, sounds good. Thanks, Ricky. <laughs> Um, so I am going to, I'm going to, um, start out with my tinted moisturizer and I just actually ordered our, um, it's called Make Sense Silk and that's kind of like our primer. So I've actually ordered that, but I don't have it in yet. So I'm excited to start using that. Um, but for now, so this is, this is bare face. I washed my face and then I put toner on and it, well, I did like a exfoliating thing in the shower too. Okay, so obviously my medium tinted moisturizer because it's my favorite and I use it every day. Is it? You've used Silk Ricky? Well, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to do this in my mirror, but it's right here, so hopefully you guys can see. I'm just going to blend this in like a lotion. You can use a brush, but from what I've read, um, using your fingers actually helps get it more even because... Your, the heat from your fingers helps it set or like, you know, spread around easier. So I use it everywhere under my eyes. Get a nice base. Do you see my fun nails? Sorry if you guys heard this the other day when I went live, but my friend Suzanne designs jamberry nails and I wanted something with lip scents. So she put little kiss marks on jamberries for me. Yay! Shout out to Zam. Um, so I'm super excited about those. They're fun. All right. So as I posted in my or put in my um caption or whatever, I'm doing a photo shoot for my um for a blog tour that I'm a part of, and so my makeup's gonna be a little bit bold for daytime, but I'm gonna be back from the camera, so you want it to kind of stand out a little bit. And again, like my precursor, like I am far from a professional <laughs> makeup person. I'm just learning and uh, excited about it. And I use some really fantastic products. So I'm just going to demo and show you what I do. And I am like super open to tips. So <laughs> if you know more than me, go for it. I need it. All right. So I started with my medium tinted moisturizer. We've got some more people that jumped on. So I'm going to recap quick. Medium tinted moisturizer. And next I'm going to do our, can it's called, well, my sticker fell off, but it's called Candlelight Shadow Scents. I'm going to turn it so you can see the label. Candlelight Shadow Scents. And so it's technically meant to be an eyeshadow, but it is like perfectly skin colored on me. So I use this, and as you're going to see, like I have these big red spots on my nose because my face is, I'm like allergic to my own skin or something. <laughs> um... So I'm going to use that on my big red spots, and you can just literally watch them disappear. So take a good look at this sadness here. I've got a red one up here. i got a spot here and here and here, a little bit of bags, and some more down here and here. So I'm going to use this and just watch and see the magic because this stuff is so cool. And it's like super, super concentrated, so you can watch me. I'm going to scrape off most of it. And I'm only going to use like just a teeny tiny little dot. So watch. I'm going to dot it on here. I'm going to dot it on here, and here, and here, and I'm going to start with just those few because um, I don't want it to dry. So then I'm just going to use my little brush, and I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Just try to hide the scary, because there's scary on my face. Like I said, I'm no pro. I'm just kind of doing my best. All right, and did you see like a little bit went a long way? So I did here, I went all the way up around my nose. So like a little bit goes such a long way with this stuff. So it's really cool. Okay, you see how that disappeared so far? And I have only done half my face. 
I'm not kidding. This stuff is the bomb. I'm, I'm really promoting it right now, and it's a little sad because it's out of stock. But it will be back. So if you're, like, watching this and you're like, oh, my gosh, I need that, just message me, and I'll put you on my list. And um, as soon as it comes back in, I'll order it for you, and then you'll be all set. So, all right, time for the second half. So on this side, there's a spot here and a little bit down here on my cheek. And I'll maybe just touch up these dark spots up there. I'm scraping off the extra because you only need a tiny bit. Tiny dab here and here, 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 here. You guys probably can't see the mess that my face is as clearly as I can, but I'm gonna dab on it. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna blend. You can see what I did here. I'm gonna go around the corners of my nose too. Okay. Blending, blending. All right. Okay. So, do you remember when you took a good look at my face and you saw all those red spots? Look at that. And that was literally just, just the candlelight. So that's pretty sweet. I'm going to do it under my eyes too, just so I don't have to worry about that in pictures. Scraping off the extra. And I'm just going to do a little of this here. One swipe across each lid. And then I'm going to blend again. Cute, right? <laughs> Blending. I don't know if it's just me that has like super veiny eyelids, but I feel like my eyelids are super veiny. You see that already? Just looks so smooth. Hi Sonia. Hi Don, Kim. Hello. Um there. Okay. See? I feel a little spot here still. All right. So, I'm satisfied with that. I need a lot, well, a lot is not really a lot actually, but I need kind of a lot to cover up my uh, little splotches, splotches, but a tube like this is going to last you like a super, super long time because it's very concentrated and you don't really hardly need any. All right. Uh, I was going to play, oh, did I bring it up? No, I didn't. I was going to play with my um, foundation testers a little bit, but. Like I said before, I'm not really super big into foundation. I, I do like ours. I just don't, I don't like to put it on. I'm not going to. Okay, next up. Mocha Java Shimmer and Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. These are also shadow scents. I'm going to put them on my lids. I realize that that's backwards for you, but um, you can see that they're... Neutrals is pretty much what I wear, I guess, just because that's what I know. <laughs> so I'm going to do neutrals. Um, I'm going to start with the... Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. Sorry, my hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm nervous. Um, I'm going to start with the Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. And I'm going to put it on my, just like a sweep across my lid, and then I'm going to use my brush. And I'm just going to, like, work it in there. Super easy, quick. My, the sun keeps fading in and out. So my lighting is weird. Again, I'm scraping off the extra. You don't need a lot. It's super concentrated. It's really hard to see my phone. Okay, I'm going to do a big swipe like that. See? Swipers. And I'm going to do another one on this side. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take my brush, and I'm just going to work it into the lid. That's all. And now our shadow sense is really neat because it's, um, it's creamed powder. So you swipe it on. And you work it in and then give it a couple minutes and it's going to set. And that's going to stay on your face the whole day. So it's not going to like fall into your the folds of your eyelid, you know, or like if you're wearing a darker shade, it's not going to trickle down and like give you bags under your eyes and stuff. It's going to stay put once you once you get it on. So that's, that's pretty sweet, I have to say. Okay, so I'm going to blend this one in. 
just gonna kind of brighten up my eye. Okay, so you obviously really can't see it because it's pretty neutral. Um, then I'm going to use the Mocha Java Shimmer, which is a shade darker. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know where it focuses. But you can see that it's a shade darker. And I'm going to put that like right here and then up into the crease. And I'm going to go a little bit darker than I am usually would be wearing on a Tuesday mid-afternoon. But um, I'm going to do it for these pictures. So Mocha Java Shimmer, here we go. Again, I'm going to wipe off the excess because look at that. Look at that blob on there. Like, that's just so, so much. That would, like, make my whole eyelid black. <laughs> so, for this, all you take is just a little dab, like, right there. And that's all you need. Okay? I might do another one just to go a little darker, but that's all you start with is this. Okay? Oh, I suppose that's kind of hard for you to see, but this is all I'm going to do. Work it into the lid, and then I'm going to go up from the lash line like this. And I'm just going to keep brushing. Okay, you see that? A little bit? See the difference between the two? Hmm. It's pretty light still. I think I might do a little bit more. Wipe off the excess. Again, a little dauber right here. And then I'm going to blend it. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Bree. Welcome. Blending. It's getting a little darker. Okay. It's kind of hard to do far away from my mirror like this, but I don't want to have to sit here and hold it. So, all right, I'm gonna put a little bit more on the other, or on, I'm gonna do the other side. I mean, I might end up putting in a little bit more there, but we'll see. Okay. So just a little blobber brush. Um, I saw Sonia's message pop up. I have no idea what brand these are. Like, no idea at all. I think I got them on Zulily, <laughs> like, a long time ago, probably, so, sorry. I have really genuinely have no idea. Okay. Okay. You can see it's starting to show up there. I'm going to do a little bit more, because like I said, I'm going to... I'm totally going to get washed out once I go outside and use natural light for my photo shoot, so make it a little bit dark. Blending. Okay. Ooh, there you can really see it on that one. Perfect. Okay, I gotta go a little darker on the other side, which is what I was afraid of. Okay. Oops, sorry. A little blobby. That's a technical term. <laughs> blobby. It's okay to laugh at me. I'm, I swear I'm laughing at myself for real. Okay. Just make sure they're looking similar. What do you think? I like. Okay. I think I'm pretty cool with that for now. Maybe blend a little bit more on this side. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to do eyeliner next. And since we got... Um, I was just using an old, a Julep eyeliner, eye glider, but I got my new, um, Onyx Shadow Sense in, and our Shadow Sense is real. it's so reflective, I don't know if you can see that, our Shadow Sense is really cool because it, like, you can do so many things with it, so not only can you use it on your lids, you can use it for contouring, you can use it for eyeliner, you can use it as a lip color, as long as you seal it with one of our other lips, so... Super cool, super versatile stuff, and long-lasting, like I said. So, let's see what it says. Senegins, or Sena Cosmetics Shadow Sense with Seneplex by Senegins. And Seneplex is our um, 
like our skincare compound. So not only is it makeup, but it's actually like a skin skincare system. This stuff is so cool, guys. It's just so cool. Okay. I will quit rambling. Here's my trusty little brush. This one says Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I've just accumulated these. I don't know where they, where they all come from, but all right. So what I'm going to do to use the Onyx Shadow Sense as an eyeliner is I'm just going to pull it out like this. And I'm going to take my little brush here. And as I've said, it's super concentrated, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to sweep on here a little bit. Who's watching? Can you guys say hi? Who's still on here with me? <laughs> I see a few of you are. All right. That's probably too much, but I was distracted. Okay. So I just have a teeny little bit on my brush here. I'll maybe move my mirror up so you can see a little better. All right. Boop. Okay. I was going to try and set that down, but all right. I'm going to start at the corner. Hi. Thanks for saying hi. This is really hard to do actually, not in my bathroom. I have my mirror bouncing on my knee. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to turn my brush. I'm just going to go up with it a tiny bit here. Ooh, this is hard to do. I'm going to have to blend that a little bit. A lot. <laughs> um, blender, here we go. And while it's still like a cream, you can touch it. Use your hand a little bit. This is such an awkward position. Okay, and I am gonna like blend this out a little bit anyway. Because I don't want it to be super like severe. Oh, now it got bright in here again. And dark again can't make up its mind. Okay. It's a little crazy, but I think it'll look a little better once I get my mascara and stuff on. I gotta do it better. Alright, we're gonna go with it. Okay. Remember, I'm going kind of dark because I'm doing this, doing pictures here this afternoon, so I intentionally wanted a little dark, I, even though I realize it's afternoon. <laughs> Little bear should be napping, but. Okay, turn it up. All right, so I'm gonna blend. Sorry, I looked down for a while there. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this down. I always see people like apply eyeliner with their eyes open. And maybe it's just because I'm a noob, but I like literally have no idea how you apply eyeliner with your eye open. Like my eyes just do not function that way. I would be like blinking and twitching all over the place. Okay. All right. <laughs> Who's laughing at me? Good. I like it. All right. Just going to get the extra off my brush here. Oh, see how much was left still on my eyeliner brush? A little tiny bit. Just a teensy, teensy bit of that goes such a long way. All right. So, they're dark, but I think that'll work for pictures. Okay. Um, now, I need to do my eyebrows. I don't know a lot about eyebrows. Okay, I'm going to be like straight up honest with you, but I'm working on it. <laughs> so, I got our, our brow sense. It's so sunny, sorry. It's brow sense, and I got, it's called dark. I don't know, like sweep it in there just to kind of fill it in and bring it down a little bit and work on my arch because I don't really have one, even though I'd like one, but I have no idea like how to do that properly. So... Just gonna kind of wang it. Um, so, anyways, brow sense in dark. 
and then I'm just going to blend it a little bit. I really probably should have left this part out since I don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to go with it. How you doing, buddy? Hmm? I'm hearing some deep sighs down there. What's up, dude? I'm going to like just take it easy on the brows because I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know. We're going to stop there until I learn a little bit more. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, then we're going to do blush scents which I have talked about before. Um, if I can find it. It's in here somewhere, hang on. I'll find it. It's just buried in all the lip scents I have. There we go, found it. scents and also cream to powder hey hi I'm doing a video okay okay oh I gotta use my mirror okay and I just do a couple few drops right along the cheekbone one two three one two three This one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna. Mom, go get my trampoline out. No, don't do that right now, buddy. I'm gonna set. It. I'm gonna put it right here. Nope, that's not a good idea. Not right now. If you wanna jump on a trampoline, go downstairs and jump on your actual trampoline. But my cushion trampoline. Nope. Sorry, Mama Vito. This is terracotta, Callie. It's out of stock right now, but this is the first one I got. Terracotta. I'm going a little dark because I want to show up for pictures. <clears throat> Thank you, Ricky. We're getting a little crazy here. Okay. Um, all right, so now I think um, I'm going to try something new. I haven't ever done this before, but it just came with my order yesterday. Um, this is our translucent loose powder, and you just sweep it on and it sets everything. So. If I can figure out how to open it, that would be a good first step. Okay. So you take off that cover. Then you go, do you do that before or after? Instructions for use. Turn product with brush facing down and tap on a firm surface several times to start the powder moving through the brush. Once powder reaches the brush, remove cap, slide brush barrel down toward base, and turn on. Oh my gosh. Let's go step by step. Okay. All right. Okay, I think it said stay like this. So, keep it closed. Brush facing down. Tap. Firm surface several times to start the powder moving through the brush. Okay. Then once powder reaches the brush, remove cap, slide brush, slide brush barrel down to base and turn counterclockwise to start. Okay. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> watching me fumble. <laughs> I'll get it together, I promise. And you go like that, I think. Maybe. I don't see anything in there. Oh, there, I saw some come up. Okay. And then you just sweep it around. Oh, 
Oh, you can see it poofing, maybe. I can. So I'm just going to use this. This sets the powder, I guess. Or the, like, the product on your face. Cool. <laughs> Alright. This thing. This. This makes me feel so legit. Okay. Loose powder done. Now, since I am wearing blue today, I was looking up, um like best lip colors to wear with blue and I could do like a red like a cranberry-ish color but I'm wearing bright shoes and not red so I want to go with a pink shade and I talked with my team and I was like what color should I do and I'm going to do Fleur de Lisa because I have a few extra of these in stock so if you decide you like my look then you can come in and grab the color too so there's the bead shaking it up so, if you've never watched my um, videos before with lip scents, you need to do three layers. Dude, that's gross. Get out of here, piggy. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's the risk of going live with a mom, I guess. Oh, guys, hold on. I forgot my... I'm distracted. Where is it? Hold on. Oh, there. It's looking right at me. Okay. Um, I forgot my mascara. So, oh, thanks, Suzanne. Um, so, I've talked about this before also. I love to use our under scents, which is out of stock. I know, but I can't do my makeup without it, so you have to watch me put it on anyway. When it comes back in, if you really desperately love it and you want some, just message me, and I will make sure to get you some. Okay, bear. Don't, don't stand on there. Um, nope. No. You can't do that when I'm doing a video, honey. No, sir. Come over here. He's got his big marble works thing set up. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like a big tower where, like, the marbles go down, down, down. But it's so loud. You gotta put him down and wait till I'm done, okay? I'll only do one. Try it. And if it's too loud, then you can't do any more, okay? Kay. Try one. All right. I'm gonna do my lashes quick. Yeah, just be done, okay? Do something else while you wait for mom. Oh, and I didn't really say what the undersense does, but the undersense lengthens your lashes prior to putting on the mascara. So, okay, I'm going to show you so you can see. My eyes are closed. There's where my lashes are. Now I'm going to add the undersense. And it's gray. Okay, little bear, you got to go find something to do, okay? No, can you just take that then and go in your room and do it instead? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Wait, I got quiet or thing. That would be excellent. Okay. Trains. <laughs> I'm not going to take those out right now. Okay, this is the black lash sense. Oh, 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 careful. Don't touch. Sorry. I don't usually do videos when he's awake, but I need him to stay awake so we can go do these pictures. <laughs> All right. Bear, you can't touch a chair, honey. Sorry, quiet, slow. So the undersense adds the length. But look at that. Can you see? I super just, I just ridiculously love this stuff, you guys. The lash sense came back in. <laughs> Callie, you did have, <laughs> you did have some complications last week, yeah. But that's mom life, right? Right. That's right, buddy. Ooh, poke myself in the eyeball. Honey. 
Dude, do I need to escort you out of here or what? No. Don't do that, please. That's making noise. Are you doing that? Yes, I know. Go in there and do that. Little tester. Pushing buttons. That's what he does. All right. So, mascara and undersense. I'll look down. I don't know if you can tell. I really super hope that you can see that. Uh, this is for So What Should I Wear, Suzanne, uh, the Valentine's edition. <sighs> um, all right. Mom, so, yes, baby. See, this is quiet. That's perfect, yep. Okay, now we can move on to lips. So, I'm going to sweep off my lips. I should have brought a washcloth in here, but I didn't, so you're going to have to bear with me. Go in pink. Fleur de Lisa lip sense. Now, as I was saying earlier before I realized I forgot half of what I needed to do, um, you need to put on three layers, three layers every time. So don't put on one and gloss it. Don't put on two and gloss it. You have to do three. Um, if you don't, your color is going to break down quickly and it's just not going to last. So you have to do three. Also, you don't want to like sweep back and forth like like you would with a lipstick or something. You don't want to do that. You want to just do one smooth sweep and then what? Uh, well, I usually start in the middle and then sweep across and sweep across. And sometimes like I do like a skinny line this way and then a skinny line more on the inside. But either way, you don't want to backtrack over your over your own like what you've already done because it'll kind of peel it up. All right. I have not used Fleur de Lisa before. So I just cracked the seal. I'm scraping off the excess again because like I've said, our products are extra concentrated. So a little bit goes a long, long way. And especially with lip scents, you want to do like nice um, thin layers. So you get like good long lasting color and it's, it's able to dry between, um, between layers. It's kind of hard to do. Hope you can see that. This is gonna be like Barbie pink. <laughs> uh. I gotta get a little more on here. Okay. A little thick right there. Okay, there's one. That was a little sloppy. But... Oh, Suzanne, yeah. Um, sorry, it's really hard to talk. <laughs> uh, also, where you're wa like, wow. I'll finish the flying and then I'll tell you. <laughs> it's too hard. Dry. Let it dry nice and good. My top middle got a little thick, so I'm going to extra dry it here. Okay. Layer two. Actually, they're pretty dry. Okay. So right here, like we call it your water line. That part gets a little, a little tricky. So really make sure if you're having an issue with that, you do like your outside line like this. And then you come in and do inside like this. And you make sure you do three full layers on both spots. Some people like, I kind of have a thinner upper lip, so my upper lip really only takes like one swipe back and forth, but my bottom I can get away with doing two. And that, that'll help as long as you make sure you're doing three full coats on everything, like three full coats are touching every surface. That'll help with your longevity. And yes, definitely don't backtrack. <laughs> it's kind of working like a little eraser for you. Okay, coat number two. <laughs> Everyone's laughing at me. Okay. I gotta look at a little more. I like to do a little. Right there on that water line sometimes too. Okay. That's two. Dry, dry, dry. 
You want to make sure each layer dries really, really well. And don't touch your top to your auto. <laughs> Uh, all right, getting there. It's pretty pink. Okay, last coat. What color gloss should I do? All right, last one. Inside. Right. Dying gloss. Ooh, good suggestion. Did you hear they might wearing that back? Sorry, I'm talking weird. I don't think I posted about that yet. Alright. Suzanne says diamond glass. You gotta. It is kind of light, isn't it, Callie? That's probably because the sun's looking right at me, so it's a little washed out. Mom, I found something that is quiet. What? Come in the boys' room in, in the closet. Just like I'm doing a video. Come here. Do you want to say hi? Or no? No. Okay. Go wash your face. You got some stuff on your cheek. Go, go wash it. No, go wash it. He's like... <laughs> boys. <laughs> Alright. It's feeling pretty good. I always let the last layer dry really well. Okay. Diamond Kiss Gloss because Suzanne asked for it. And what I was trying to say <laughs> is that they might be bringing this back as a full-time gloss. So that's super exciting. And then with a gloss, you can go backtrack however much you want to. Oh, see? My wand is clear. You see that? Rub, rub, rub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Still clear. That's the power of lip sense, baby. So in case you didn't hear, our diamond gloss has actual diamond particles in it. How neat is that? Legit diamonds. There, the sun went down, now you can see. There we go. What do you think? Um, so yeah, our diamond gloss, I heard, it's a rumor so far, um, but it's supposedly coming back full time. So that would be like super amazing. Hi, Katie, I miss you. Hi, Kelly, hi, Callie. Yes, so the diamond gloss, super fantastic. Might be coming back full time. That'd be great. The crimson rose, what's it called? Crimson rose diamond? Why am I blanking? Crimson red diamond. That one is still in stock. So if anybody wants to try that. Hey, Bear, don't touch your chair. Crimson rose diamond is still in stock. I have a selfie of this one. Ooh, of me in, the gr in my group, if you want to see. Hello, Kelly. Hi. Um, oh, <laughs> he's getting more brave. Can they see your face? Do you want to come and show me your happy face? No. <laughs> You're so stubborn. He's so stubborn. All right. So I need to go do my hair and get these pictures done before my big kids get off the bus. And this kid needs a nap. Um, did I get everything? Mm, I forgot to use my eye illuminator, but it's not too late. So this is the eye illuminator. Kind of pretty. Just a little shiny. I'm just going to put a little bit right here. Hey, bear. Don't bump the chair. His name is not Bear. I don't know why I call him that, but it just kind of like falls out of my mouth. Hey, you're going to knock my thing down, honey. Get down. Or get out of there. I'm not touching. Yeah, you're bumping the chair. Come on. Okay, so you just use a tiny bit of this. Just like a teensy little bit on your finger. That's probably even too much. And I'm just going to sweep it right here. Just a little highlighter. I'm going to have to go back and look in my bathroom mirror to make sure that's not streaky. but Because <laughs> I put my mirror down. Honey, you're kicking the chair. You're going to make me get feisty. I'm going to put a little bit right here. I'm going to put a little bit right here. And you can also put a little bit like here too. 
<sighs> Thank you. I'll stay out of there. Mama, look at this marble. That's, yeah, that's the lovely marble. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you have it, ladies. This is going to be my photo shoot makeup for the day. So, um, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to go do Hi. my... <laughs> Slightly more brave. Can you, can you just give me a hug up here? Yeah, he's got this glimmer in his eye like, you want me to, so I'm not gonna, right? Mm -hmm. I absolutely do not want to hug right now. Like, do not, don't hug me at all. Okay? Don't hug me. <laughs> he's so stubborn. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go do my hair. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, yes, I'll post final pics. M I, my blog goes live tomorrow too, so I will share for sure. I gotta see where I'm gonna go because it looks a little windy and chilly outside. So, all right, I have to stop procrastinating and go get it done now. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. See you later.